The balance of power in the labor market has tilted in favor of employees. Restaurateurs say hiring is one of their biggest challenges this season. Because we're fighting for the same cook, the same bartender. Um, I even have some of my staff saying they're getting messages from other restaurants to go work there. Uh, and and end of the day, it's people. Our people are also asking for a bit more money. Labor shortages in the highly competitive retail sector were common pre-COVID. They've now become even worse, especially in Ontario, where stores were shut down longer than other parts of the country. Many of those employees uh, felt that they were were not sure if they would get their job back or when they would be returning to work. So they looked for work in other sectors. Recruiters for white collar positions say employers have been forced to sweeten their offers. More perks, two or three weeks vacation doesn't cut it, and more money. It has driven the salaries up, like drastically, and we're seeing up to 10,000 in some cases, because that's how they can get those candidates, because they have three to four offers at once. Employers who can't ante up can try hiring more junior workers and training them, but there are no guarantees they won't go elsewhere in this kind of market. Now, where this is a little strange is that we actually also have a lot of joblessness. Even with a large number of people not working, there are a rising number of job vacancies. The problem is there's a wedge in the labor market, and that is a reluctance to return to work at this time, especially in the sectors that are face-to-face -face services, like in food services where people might be still a little wary of the virus and risks of, of being infected. Whether it's safety concerns, an inability to secure childcare, or a growing number of people opting to take a break to reskill or reassess, the labor squeeze is expected to tighten this summer. Though Canada is on track to surpass countries like the U.S. and the U.K. in vaccination rates, it's only just starting to catch up to them when it comes to labor headaches. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.